Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Keep us a sheep. Yeah, I see you back with another lesson. Lord, oh, this video is edifying. Before we begin, I would like to first start off by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to the Most High, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rikakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom and Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, and today's lesson will be titled, We Can Only Water, the Most High Has to Wake Them Up. All right, and uh, I want to start off in the book of Romans 13 and 11. And it reads, And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, but now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. All right, so in these last days, in the you know, times we you know currently in, in the times to come, you're going to have a lot of people wake up to this truth. Okay? And you're going to have a lot of people who reject this truth at the same time. So, uh, you know, back to the title. You know, we can only water. The Most High has to wake them up. So, uh, you know, us... Us waking them up, I mean, us watering, you know, requires us to do the work, you know, us to, you know, be out on the highways and byways, uploading videos, all right, uh, sit downs, you know, things of that nature. This is this is us watering them, all right, keeping the commandments to the best of our ability, all right, being that example, you know, doing the work in season, out of season. This uh, this is part of that watering process, right? But it's up to the Most High to actually wake them up. So, next precept, I'm going to get 1 Corinthians 3 and start at 6. And it reads, uh, I have planted Apollo's water, but the Most High gave the increase. So then, rather is he that planted anything, neither is he that water, but the Most High that, get, that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Okay, so this is a this is a planning this is a this is a planning process. This is a uh, um, uh, we're 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 growing we're we're we're, we're growing each other. All right, and uh, it's a process. You know, somebody has to plant, somebody has to water. All right, and that you know we all are one at the end of the day. You know. Uh, many members but you know one body right and you have a shot okay so you know we all have to labor in this thing we all have a job we all have to do the work all right and i want to grab this quick parable this this wasn't meant to be a long lesson it's uh on my lunch break right now and i grabbed this, this parable in the book of matthew 13 and 3 and it reads and he spake many things unto them in parables saying behold a sower went forth to sow that, that sower is the most high all right he 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 has the seed he he you know he it's up to him who you know who who actually grows who actually wakes up and it's truth you know because you're gonna have people who come in this truth but they won't they might not grow right they might they might wither away okay they might you know they might they just might not grow uh, three, and he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed some seeds, fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. And see, that's the thing. We, you know, we get the seeds from the Most High. All right, this truth, this, you know, this word. All right, these are the seeds we get. We get. We get them from the Most High, and, it, and it's up to us to, you know, plant the seeds and, who, and whoever needs to be planted them. All right, to that good ground. All right. Uh, it says, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and for and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of ground. Six, and when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. Seven, and some fell among thorns, and thorns sprung up and choked them eight but other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit some and hundredfold some sixtyfold and some thirtyfold so you know that's the goal man that's the goal to plant seeds to build up brothers to you know you know build up this ministry man all right to 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 
to have good fruits, to bring forth good fruits. All right. That way the most I can use you. All right. So, you know, like I said, this, this wasn't meant to be a long lesson. And Lord will, it was edifying. And again, I would like to close out by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekai Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, and Shalom to hopefully let. Told them everything. You try to tell them everything. Try to save their soul. But then it got to a point where you're just like, man, I'm not going to tell them anything anymore. I already told him that the seed is planted. It's up to the Lord to water it. I can't water it and plant it. I gotta go plant some more seeds. You know? Hopefully they'll figure it out. Hopefully, you know, my little brother or some such and such will figure it out. But that's not up to me. I gotta work out my own salvation now. When you start realizing that, the spirit's like, man, I can't. What am I gonna do, man? Like the elders always saying, if a nigga can't get it, we moving on. We can't spend all our time on, you know, worried about, you know, why this and why that. That's